Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today is Mask Monday, and I am looking fine here this morning here in Savannah, Tennessee. So uh, today I am using the wonderful papaya mask. It is a, a purifying a Dead Sea Mud Mask from Beauty Treats, and I found this at ShopMissA.com for a dollar, and here is what the package looks like. Hopefully you can see this. And so anyhow, this has um, papaya and lavender with sea, dead sea salt for deep clean and purifying. And so I have dry skin um, with the oily bits, you know, like, you know, here and there in the T-zone. And so I thought, I was kind of scared to use this because, um, you know, sometimes deep cleaning masks can um, cause dry skin to just become irritated and um you know red and all that and so i, di I didn't want to go through all that so anyway what i i was kind of scared and i uh, when i put it on though i was pleasantly surprised because there was a, a cooling uh like a menthol kind of refreshing feel to the mask and there's plenty plenty of solution in the package in fact i've found myself you know not even really using it all there's a little bit left in there and I just kept layering it on and I felt like I had like two or three good layers you know on here but anyway it's dry right now and so it was a bit darker when I first started um, about the color green that's here on the front of the package and so now it's kind of um, whitened down a little bit since it's dry so anyhow this is just a rinse off um, mud mask and this is um, produced from beauty treats out of Los Angeles California it's made in Korea but they distributed it uh, from beautytreats.com uh, for $2.99 and I found this at Shop Miss A for a dollar so right now they're out of stock on both the website at beautytreats.com and at Shop Miss A so this is a popular mask obviously and uh, so if you can get your hands on it I encourage you to try it but anyway I've got a bowl of water right here in front of me and I'm just going to remove the mask with the washcloth and this warm water that I've got right here in front of you and just talk to you about um, about this mask and so um, it takes about 15 minutes you know typically that's what masks take is about 15 minutes to dry down and so this was uh, you know pretty typical with all of that and so anyhow it's really creamy you know there's no gritty particles or um, anything like that there's it's just a real creamy smooth consistency um, it's kind of thick you know it feels um, um, almost like not really clay but there's a real um, uh, you can feel that there's a like a drying substance in it when you touch it and uh, so you know it's going to absorb you know oil and um, any kind of residue that's left on your skin and you know I wear quite a bit of makeup throughout the course of the week I don't wear makeup every single day but I wear mo makeup most every day at least some kind of makeup most every day and uh, so anyhow I like to you know get a hold of my skin and clean it really good you know on a daily basis I wash my skin every day I wash my face every day I always take off my makeup or try you know try to I'd say 90 95 percent of the time I take off my makeup before I sleep at night and uh, if I do forget to take it off or if I fall asleep you know like if I'm sitting in my chair in the living room and I fall asleep you know when I do wake up you know that's the first thing I do is head to the bathroom and wash my face so I, I use you know wipes to remove the makeup I have um, the Garnier um, skin active micellar cleansing water that I use I use the Clinique toner which I've shared that with you before I've done a review on that and I have um, you know all my cleansers that are in the bathroom and I've shared I've done a video on all my cleansers and so I can link all that stuff below and uh, today I used the uh, the gel I washed my face with the gel that um, I shared with you in the cleansing video it's from uh, Lancome and it's a, a beautiful dark green gel it has tingling um, cooling 
properties to it and it just it feels so refreshing and so I really enjoy that so I was in the mood for that today and I wanted to clean my face you know really really good this morning before I put this mask on because I didn't know how it was my skin was going to react I want to make sure that um, you know if there's any kind of properties that are going to draw up to the surface some mud masks will do that they cause like any kind of oil or blackheads or whatever to just kind of come to the surface and you know it's like it sucks it right out of the pores it's really interesting how some of those masks do that so since I had never tried this one before I really didn't know exactly what to expect so anyhow and as you can see this is you know coming off pretty easily I feel like I'm you know having to apply some pressure a good bit of pressure to you know get this up and my skin you know because of the rubbing you know it's going to be kind of red looking but it's not it's not red or irritated from the from from the mask itself it's just from me washing my face you know and that's what happens I'm so fair complected I, if I just rub my you know you know those movies in the olden days where the girls didn't wear makeup but they would just kind of pinch their cheeks and purse their lips and they would try to get you know like a little rosiness going on because uh you know their boyfriend had or their their beau had just you know drove up in his carriage or whatever you know and they were kind of nervous about uh, receiving him into the house and so they kind of just freshen themselves up real quick like that to have that flush of color when he uh, walks in the door and uh, you know they feel like they look their best whenever they had you know rosy cheeks and but anyway that's kind of how my skin responds to that kind of thing and so you can see and it calms down really easy oh this feels so good I mean you want a deep cleanse and not, you know, feel like you're overdoing it. This was really gentle. I was surprised. Really gentle on the skin. So, anyhow, I looked it up on the website, beautytreats.com. And, um, you know, they sell makeup and all kinds of stuff. And they have um, dupes for the Visart palettes. and Or Viseart, I think is how you pronounce that. But anyway, there's all kinds of... Um, you know cosmetics and beauty skin treatments and masks and all that kind of stuff on their website and then when you go to uh, click on an item to purchase it it takes you um, to a place called Second Love Cosmetics for the purchase and so I've never made a purchase from from that particular website from the Beauty Treats website but I did subscribe to their newsletter and their emails and stuff and so um, I'm looking into that in the future because that is a good bargain brand and I'm interested in that and uh, not as cheap as Shop Miss A though I mean this mask normally sells for $2.99 at the Beauty Treats website but it's only a dollar at uh, Shop Miss A so anyhow let me set this water aside And let me talk to you for another minute. All right. That is, that is like squeaky clean. My mother used to say, well, you know, you know, I want you to wash your face until your nose shines. So I've got like a subtle shine on my nose right now. So she, I think she'd be proud of me. <laughs> So anyway, this is great. Great way to clean the skin. All right, let me use my little towel here and just kind of finish drying off. That feels good. Okay, well this mask, y'all, is uh, 1.5 milliliters or 0.5 ounces. And like I said, it is a good bit of pr uh, product in here. Um, if you were the of a frugal sort, you know, and you wanted to... Uh, share a mask like with somebody you know like you and your buddy were in the bathroom I feel like this is enough stuff right here where you could do at least a you know a thin um, you know I did a thick real thick but you could uh, make this last for two times or you could share it with a buddy and um, and I mean I still have product in here as well probably not enough to 
you know, do my whole face or anything, but probably enough to do my nose and, and maybe my chin. But I'm not going to save it because the package is already opened and um, it'll probably dry out. So anyhow, let me just read here on the back some of um, the stuff that they share with you. And uh, it says a unique combination of Dead Sea Salt and exceptionally soothing um, nautical ingredients such as papaya, lavender, bergamot, uh, it's a beauty treats, papaya, um, purifying Dead Sea mud mask deeply cleanses and purifies your tired skin. It uh, drains impurities from within leaving the skin clarified, more radiant, and refreshingly clean, clean and clear. So the way that you use it is to thoroughly cleanse your face first and then apply the mask evenly over the face and neck, avoiding the eyes and the lips, and after 15 or 20 minutes, uh, rinse with water. So that's really, um, this is a um, cruelty-free product. And um, I highly recommend that. that. That just felt really good. I can't wait to get another one and use it again. So anyhow, I'll, I'll link the websites below and that way you can get to it and find it and everything. And um, when they come back in stock or you can shop at your local Dollar Tree and see if they have it at your, at your local Dollar Tree for a dollar. That's the best way to go. That's the cheapest way to go. And you know, you won't have to commit to making a large purchase to avoid shipping costs or anything like that. You can just pop in and, you know, stock up on some masks or whatever. Alright, well, that is uh, all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you feel. If you've used this mask before, um, or if you're looking for a, a mud mask, you know, that's gentle on the skin. You know, I feel like this could be used for any kind of skin whether you know you have dry skin or oily skin or normal skin or combination skin I feel like this mask right here is pretty universal and uh, everyone could benefit from a good mud mask uh, you need to do this every now and then anyway you know to keep your um, what causes pores to uh, enlarge is when dirt particles get trapped so if you keep your pores clean then you can keep your pores uh, small and keep them from becoming enlarged and uh, so you want to take good care of your skin and make sure that uh, you know your pores stay small because that's how breakouts occur is when your pores get clogged and uh, bacteria you know s sets up inside of there and then you uh, get you know pimples as a result so wash your face clean your face you know use regular um, cleansing treatments and scrubs and masks and so forth and that'll um, really help with breakouts and then um, for those of you that suffer from acne you know everyone has different circumstances that contribute to acne but the number uh, the two things that I have discovered that's universal straight across the board is drink plenty of water and eat fresh fruits and vegetables and avoid fried foods and wash your face those and if you'll do that then you know you will um, really help your skin out a whole lot all right, well, that's it for today, y'all. Have a blessed day. Drink eight glasses of water. And leave a comment in, in the um, comment section below, and I'll be sure to chat back with you, okay? Thanks for tuning in, and I appreciate you for subscribing. All right, bye-bye.